Welcome. All right, so what I have here is 1 half times 3 log base 2 of x minus 2 log base 2 of z. Now, before I can take this 1 half and apply it up here, I need to simplify this down to one single logarithm. So you can see that I first have my power rule that I can take my product of my number and rewrite it as the product. So that's the first thing we do. So I'll have this as 1 half times, I need to rewrite the 3 up. So it's log base 2 of x cubed minus log base 2 of z squared. Okay. So now I see that I have the difference of two logarithms with the same base. So I'm going to rewrite that as the quotient. So it's 1 half times log base 2 of x cubed divided by z squared. Okay. Now what I can do is I can bring, now I can, what I can do is to take my 1 half and rewrite it as my power up to the top. So therefore I have log base 2 of x cubed times, oh sorry, x cubed over z squared raised to the 1 half power. Now remember when dealing with another property of exponents, if I have a- uh, Ms. Rosa, can you report to the gym? Ms. Rosa, report to the gym. If I have x over a, x over y raised to the a, that's equal to x to the a over y to the a. All right, And actually even make that more sense, if I have x to the m over y to the m raised to the a power, that equals x to the m times a over y to the m times a. All right. So when we're looking at a problem like this, um, what we're going to do is I need to multiply this times both of these. So therefore, I have log base 2 of x to the 3 halves over z. Then I can rewrite this. Let's get a little bit more room. Now I want to rewrite this as my root. So therefore, the 3 halves root is going to be log base 2 of the square root of x cubed divided by z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you condense a logarithmic expression with parentheses into one single logarithm. Thanks.